All right, this is it. This is the week we've all been waiting for all year long, every year. This is the Super Bowl edition of the Horseman Pro Football Talk podcast, and I'm Brad. Um, I'm Well, there's a big game this week. I don't know if you've heard that. I got to say, the Chiefs are favored, and I don't know about that. I don't know. That's It's strange that they would be the ones favored in this situation. You know, I don't have anything against the Eagles. I don't like Sirianni. I think I've made that clear, but but – Damn, they got a good football team, man. <laughs> you know, I I don't know. I are we going to see a shootout here? 48, that's forty five. That's that's the big debate. Is is there going to be a bunch of points? Is it going to be a more low scoring game? Because I mean, and you have contrasting styles of of how they play offense. You know, the Chiefs barely run the ball, and they don't have to because they have. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, they can do pretty much anything they want through the pass game. And then you have the Eagles who can just run and, and just run and run and run, whether it's with their quarterback or one of their running backs. You know, Kenneth Gainwell has been their best running back in the playoffs after Miles Sanders finally had a 1,000-yard rushing season in his career. So it's it, it, coming into this game from, from an offensive standpoint, it's like you know what to expect. But then you think about the defensive that that they have to go against. It's like, well, what's really going to happen here? Because the Eagles defense is great. The Chiefs defense is pretty good. So in this game, like anything could happen. And and you could see a bunch of points being put on the board in this one. Like, I don't know if you saw, but there was something saying that the Super Bowl score was already leaked and it's going to be 37-34. And, and I, I could see that being the case. That ain't but no guess. I, That's what's going to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If that happens, the NFL is going to have to answer some questions for real because, you know, all the players trolling everybody with the NFL script stuff and everything. But, yeah, um, you know, this game, man, I think no matter what happens, you know, pretty much in any game, I almost feel like it comes down to quarterbacks having to make plays, which is why the Chiefs are probably favored in this game is, is what I'm thinking. The commonplace thinking is on that. Um, you know, I would have picked the Eagles to be favored in this game. Um, but either way, I think this is going to be – has a chance to be game of the year, which it should be being the Super Bowl. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> the the interesting – the funny thing about all this is is we don't know. We don't know. I, one of my favorite quotes – I don't know if you've ever heard this quote by Jim Mora. I mean, I, I know you know the whole – playoffs playoffs are you kidding me but do you know the the jim mora you will never know quote i don't think so i don't remember when it was but he was the coach of the saints at the time and he was he was irritated with the press and he said you really you guys really don't know when it's good or bad when it comes right down to it make a promise to you tell us and I'm promising you right now that you don't know when it's good or bad. You really don't know because you don't know what we're trying to do. You guys don't look at the films. You don't know what happened. You really don't know. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. Okay? Just for your own information. Sometimes you, it won't. I can tell you it won't be good. And you'll see when we sometimes you'll think it's good and it isn't any good. Sometimes you'll think it's bad and it was pretty darn good. Sometimes you'll think it's bad and it was bad. But basically, you really don't know. The only people that really know are our coaches. And that goes with run blocking, pass defense, all those things. The media public doesn't know. You guys don't know. Not really know. I love that clip. So. The funny thing about all this is, is as Jim Morris said, uh, you think you know, but you really don't know. And we we don't know. This is such a good matchup that anything could happen in this game. Either team could run away with this. They could defensively beat the hell out of each other, neutralize each other, or they could, we both teams could put up five to six touchdowns. I And the fact is, is that you think you know, but you really don't know. You couldn't be any more right about that because there's <laughs> there's an avenue where I could see the Chiefs blowing out the Eagles. There's there's an avenue where I see it the other way. But, you know, I feel like ultimately we all feel like it's probably going to be a close game because it's two great teams. 
and that's kind of the the Chiefs' way of doing things. Whether they get to get in a big lead or they're down by a lot, they generally end up in close games. Um, you know, I just think this is going to be an amazing game to watch. Like it would have been great to see the Colts in the Super Bowl, obviously, but the fact that both these teams are great, just week in, week out, these both these teams show excellence on the football field. It's going to be, again, one of the games of the year. And and when it comes down to it, like, I feel like the Eagles are just too much to handle for the Chiefs in this game. And I can't argue with that. But I will say, I I think from an overall standpoint on the field, I believe that the Eagles have the advantage. Just when you take everything, I mean, and I do not mean to diminish what Kansas City is and what they put together, uh, because the Eagles might be the only team that I can actually say that about right now. Obviously, they're the only two teams in the Super Bowl. But the Chiefs have the coaching advantage. Sirianni is still unproven, in my opinion. Uh, he walked into an organization, uh, and this may be a whole lot of luck, it, it made things that were put together before him come together. He got may have gotten lucky on the tweaks. They, I mean, it, we we don't know yet, and we won't know until next year, or the year after. And I don't really mean. I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of the guy, but uh, because I think he's I think he's overly arrogant for not accomplishing anything yet is what I think is the problem. Because I have been in this situation where things were going really well and they weren't what I thought it was. And they went South as a coach. We've seen it over and over and over again, the whole Barry Switzer effect, right? Barry Switzer won a Super Bowl and there's no fucking way he should win a Super Bowl. So I don't know what Sirianni is yet, but I do know what Andy Reid is. And so I have to give the overall advantage as far as the team's concerned to the Eagles, but I have to give the coaching advantage to Andy Reid. And that may play a huge factor in this before it's over. And it's a wash, man. I don't. I don't know. I don't have any idea. I. I have no idea. I can't predict anything. I've gone back and forth. I even wanted to just predict one, just to predict one, and I don't have any idea. I. I all I'm hoping for is that this is as good a game as I think it's going to be. Yeah, one hundred percent. And that's a great point about Andy Reid and coaching and everything. Because we, I mean, especially over the last couple of weeks, you know, we've we've talked a few times about how much the coaching matters, especially about Andy Reid and putting him into the same tier as a Bill Belichick would be. And and so, I mean, from that standpoint, um, that that makes me think that the Chiefs could have this in the bag. Because like you said, like, I like Sirianni, um, but, you, but you're right. Like, he, he doesn't have the experience. And while I think the way he acts – is like it, it translates to his team and that's the attitude of the team and they just they're able to play loose that. all the time so so I could you know see that 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 plays a role in it and what he's been able to do with that team uh, plays a role in it but you can't count out the fact that the talent on that football team kind of carries itself like there's talent everywhere on that roster um, so I mean it's so difficult to pick this game, which is what the Super Bowl is supposed to be, right? You're supposed it, to have a hard exactly time. That's what it's supposed to be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, it adds to the spectacle of what the Super Bowl is. And, oh, man, because you made a good point. It made me think the Chiefs have it because Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes, and you can see Patrick Mahomes win any, any game he plays. I think I'm going to stick with the Eagles, though. I think their physical style of play and their ability to be able to run the ball and their be able their ability to get after the passer is going to be what affects this game. They're going to win in the trenches, in my opinion. I think that's what's going to sway it for me. Yeah. Well, I, I you know, I think, and I, I think, I don't know. I, I, I think Philadelphia has luck on their side and i don't mean that again as a derogatory thing but the super bowl teams that they've always put together just kind of ended up there I, we knew the patriots were always going to the super bowl you know uh, that was just that was a thing and the eagles have just put together magic runs through the years and i think we've talked about that with with like places like detroit and cleveland that no matter what's going right something always goes wrong cleveland kind of has that thing that things will go their way when they need them to I don't I, and and they're they're freaking talented I mean they're incredibly talented 
but there's something about Mahomes, dude. There is something about there's just some. He's different. He's just different. And Jalen Hurts is an amazing quarterback, but he is not Patrick Mahomes. There is something. Every time Patrick Mahomes has the ball, you better expect something, something good to happen. Uh, and it may be, uh, you know, underhanded back through his legs across back across the field. I don't know. I mean, it's just weird shit that he does. Um, and, you know, Reed is a genius. So ultimately the players, but, you know, good or bad. I don't know if it's good or bad. Ultimately, the players are the ones that have to play the game. So I don't know, man. It's just it's really really, really exciting. And it would be exciting if Sirianni is a coach that we'll mention in the same circles with Belichick and Andy Reid, and he outsmarts the old man this weekend. Then we'll we'll see, we'll see a, a new emergence, a new passing of the court, uh, of torch. We'll see something come up. I don't think it's going to happen. Even, even if he is one of those coaches, Andy Reid took a lot of beatings to get where he's at. You know, you got to lose a lot of games. <laughs> To, to to win a lot of games a lot of times i mean you got to figure out what's not working and 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 do away with it um but i you know i'm just excited i'm just really really excited yeah and i know nick sirianni coming into this game this one's a little more personal for him because he was on the chiefs coaching staff in 2011 going into 2012 when andy reed uh was brought in to be the head coach and Nick Sirianni, a quote came out uh, on Monday of this week, soon before we started recording this, that uh, Nick Sirianni said there's always going to be a little bit of a chip on his shoulder from the fact that Andy Reid decided not to retain him uh, on that coaching staff. So coming into this, it's a little more personal for him. And we know you give Nick Sirianni anything to take it personally about. He's going to show it during the game. You know, if, if things aren't going right or if he they're does. dominating, he, yeah, <laughs> you know, so Sirianni will be Sirianni. But, um, you know, I think that that little extra juice is going to help the Eagles here. But it'll be interesting, you know, because, again, you you said it, uh, that Andy Reid has all the years of experience and that's going to come into play at some point. So and then Mahomes is going to be Mahomes. So it's going to be an incredible game. And Rihanna is doing the halftime. So <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be marvelous all the way around. All right. All right. Well, I, the only thing I can tell you is that I do think it's going to be a high scoring game. I, I I think I think what will probably happen. And, you know, as Jim Morris said, I. I don't know. You don't know. We think we know, but we really don't know. <laughs> But it'll probably start out slow as they're they're kind of checking each other down. They they know each other well enough, you know, on the scripted plays to kind of, and they'll feel each other out. But it'll probably start to heat up, and the second half will probably just be a complete shootout. Um, I could definitely see that being the case. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we want to hear from you. Who who's going to win? We want to know. Tell us, because uh, we don't know. And Jim Moore says you don't know either. So, but we want to hear what you got to say. 